Hey guys, I just wanted to spend some time today talking about my thoughts on becoming a new motorcycle rider. Um, I literally, not joking, literally spent probably five years thinking about being a rider and never actually getting the balls up to do it. Primarily because I didn't know how to get into it. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, here in Ohio, you can take the Motorcycle Safety Foundation course for $50, flat rate, anywhere in the state. And they provide helmets and bikes, 250cc motorcycles. I was on a Nightwing, I think it is, Honda Nightwing, Nighthawk, something like that, Nighthawk. Anyhow, they had a Honda Rebels, Nighthawks, and um, another type of Honda as well. So, the best thing I could say for you if you're really interested in riding is to look onto forums, look at different styles of bikes, and ask questions like crazy. The people out there are amazing, and they will do anything for you. Um, I am on a forum for my Ninja 300, it's the Kawasaki Ninja 300.com. It's a fantastic forum. I've been on there about two months now, a little bit longer perhaps. And they have been unbelievably helpful with any question that I've had regarding riding, equipment, gear, maintenance, modifications, anything and everything. They've been all about it. So let me share you my story of how I actually finally got into riding. Um, after deliberating for forever on it and thinking I'd never be able to afford a motorcycle, I downloaded a free copy of the handbook for getting your motorcycle temps. Um, in order to get your temps, you just have to walk into the DMV and take a test on basic motorcycle rules, and you have to get, oh, I think a 70% to, to pass. I forget what the exact number is. You can miss several questions and still be fine. So I read this manual through a couple times and found a couple self-tests that you can take online which are extremely helpful I would look for them and then I took the actual test and I aced it not aced it but I passed it my first try and you pay like 20 bucks and they give you a temp card and it's really not that hard to get and you have to have that in order to take the MSF course so I took the last MSF course of the season here in Ohio, it was right at the end of October. Um, like I said, they do provide helmets and all that, but I have a cousin, Eric Swan, who works for sportbiketrackgear.com, and he is fantastic, and since he's my cousin, he hooks me up, so I get mad discounts from him, which is really cool. So I had when I walked into the class, I already had a helmet, Scorpion helmet, Scorpion jacket and Knox um, gauntleted gloves, so I, I, I was ready to go. It was very nice having everything there. The helmets they that they provide at the MSF course are a little bit rough. I mean, they're not. They've not like they've been dropped and are unsafe or anything, but they're just dirty and old. And I was pretty happy to have my own helmet after I saw what they had to offer. But um. My background when it comes to riding, I had never actually driven anything but a moped one time in my life. Um, I'm a pretty avid mountain biker. Uh, I do a lot of off-road mountain biking and um, put street tires on it and just cruise it around all the time. I've got well over a thousand miles on my bike. Um, so I had a good riding experience there already and I drive a stick shift. So that helped out a bit too because I understood how clutch and shifting worked already. I've been driving a stick shift for about a decade now. Um, I will say that mountain biking does not convert over to riding a motorcycle with the levers because where you would expect um, the rear brake to be on the left on a mountain bike, you got your clutch instead. Really strange to get used to. Once you're there though, you're fine. And the MSF course does not throw you on a bike and say, here 
figure it out. I mean, they walk you through everything. They teach you where to learn, where how to learn where the friction zone is on a clutch. They teach you how to power walk it so that you won't tip it over when you're moving at slow speeds. They teach you how to do sh um, slow speed maneuvering and parking lots and all that, which isn't the biggest thing in the world to have to know, but it is beneficial still. And they overall just give you a really slow, easy way to get used to the motorcycle. By the end of my second day there, right before the test, I was weaving through cones doing 30 miles an hour through the parking lot. I was making turns inside of a 20 foot box. I was speed stopping from 15 miles an hour, which is way easier to do than when you're doing 35, as I found out when I crashed. But what you gonna do? I got my speed down enough to where the crash was not nearly as significant as it could have been, and that's the whole goal. Anyhow, so I got my gear. I went in, I scored highest in my class for the MSF course, and I was a walk-in, by the way. There's usually at least a handful of people that will not show up. In Ohio, they prioritize minors, because if you're under 18, you're required to take the MSF course, otherwise it's just optional. So there was a minor that walked in, and I walked in, and there was 12 slots available, and 9 people showed, and all 12 had been registered. So 3 people said, it's only 40 degrees outside, the hell with that. I don't blame them, but I walked in and managed to get in after the under 18 kid got priority over me. So we all got in and took the course. I scored highest, like I said, and I'm just proud of that. It's stupid, but I'm proud of it because I've already wrecked twice, crashed and laid it down, excuse me. Anyhow, um, so I got my little card saying I completed the MSF course and in Ohio the rule is you either have to take the writing test with at the BMV or you have to present this card within 60 days of earning it and they'll waive the writing test because you already took the writing test in the MSF course I apologize for the noise and the shaking cage my computer's on top of my rabbits right now so yeah um so, I presented the card, paid the fee for a new ID with the motorcycle endorsement, and I was out the door. Great. Got my gear, got my endorsement, still don't have a bike. <laughs> so, I was going to wait legitimately until in the spring to buy a bike, which would not have been a bad thing to do. I was going to save up my cash and pay for it outright with cash. And then I looked at my credit score and decided, well, if I can actually get the loan, it'd probably be better for my credit score to finance the bike and then make steady payments on it. Plus, it'd give me more cash in hand. I wouldn't have to worry about being tight, saving up for this bike. <clears throat> so I chose to go ahead and finance, and I bought the Ninja 300. And my first couple rides, I will say, were still somewhat scary. Because when you're on the MSF course, hitting 30 is as high as you go. Usually you don't get above 20. I was just goofing off and they were allowing it because I was getting a feel for the bike. So suddenly when you're doing 55, 60 miles down the road, you have an absolute new respect for riding. When I'm in a car, I'm doing 10 over all the time. That's just standard. I was doing five under on my motorcycle my first time going, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. And it's taken me a thousand miles plus to really get comfortable with doing the speed limit or speeding or accelerating really fast or driving through tor torners, through corners quickly. So I'm taking corners now at 35, 40 miles an hour. I mean, not 90 degree corners, but you know, just bended corners. I'm taking straight up 90 degrees at 20, 25, lean on the bike pretty hard nowadays, and I'm pretty comfortable with it. But at first, that was not the case. And I mean, that's not something you should be concerned about. You want to be comfortable and learn slowly. Motorcycle, learning to ride a motorcycle is all about pushing your limits. But it's about doing it in moderation, not trying to be a dumbass about it. Um, I'm not one of those people that it's like, oh, I gotta go as fast as I can, I gotta lean in as hard as I can. I don't care about the size of my chicken strips, the little bit of tire on the side that you don't use because you don't lean far enough over. I don't give a shit. 
My chicken strips are there. They're going to be there. This is my commuter bike. I have fun with it. I'm not taking it to the track every damn weekend just to see how how well I can ride it. I'm going to do that eventually, but it's not going to be like my end-all, be-all purpose for having a motorcycle. But that's just my little story about getting into riding in general. Um, I'm not joking. I downloaded that manual on pass on from the BMV on how to pass the temp test four different times throughout the course of about five or six years and just finally got the balls up to actually do it so if you haven't made that move yet I would highly recommend you give it that shot because without a doubt motorcycle riding has been the number one most exhilarating thing I've ever done for myself and I am so glad that I made that step. So if you haven't done it, give it a shot. All right, guys. Thanks.